<clears throat> Day 12. <sighs> Here we are in the border of Thailand and Cambodia. I'll give you a tour around my uncle's resort real quick. <sighs> oh, yeah, that's a good idea. I'm gonna do that right now. Mom, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go walk around. Okay. Okay. 7.20 maybe? Yeah. 7.15 actually. Don't forget the key. So. Uh, my uncle has a resort. Last night it was... Got here dark so I couldn't really see anything but... This is the house we slept in. It's like a wood cabin. These three right here don't have hot water, so we complained a little bit because my uncle, he doesn't really, or we asked my cousin because my uncle's in Cambodia right now because the border opens at 7 and closes at 4 and he went over there at 5 so they wouldn't let him through to go do whatever. So here's some, here's all the cooking stuff, that's pounds, here's people's eating a bridge and there's a little river with small fishes in it just decorations and stuff but oh um, let me give you a tour first and i'll talk about it kitchen where my cousin is the head cook the bar eating area here's the pool they have it's like olympic size or whatever and then over there is where we had a party last night they were fishing and uh, cooking, and it was fun. Almost, almost, yeah, most likely a one-time thing here. The, the river we fished in last night. <clears throat> Someone jumped in the pool. I think. So yeah, it's a pretty nice resort. The food was all right last night. At the kitchen back there. The party here was the food was good, it was fun. Kind of back to my story. So um um I talked to my cousin, my cousin's friend, he said Cambodia is uber poor, like uh like Laos and uh Cambodia people will try to steal shit from me because they have no money. And my cousin told me a story where, like, he got rocked. <laughs> so uh, I'm not going to bring anything. No phone, no wallet, no GoPro. So you don't get to see anything of Cambodia. I'm not trying to get robbed. and not trying to kill anyone either. So, yeah. No vlog for Cambodia today. You just gotta see when I get back on our way home. And tomorrow I might go to my cousin or we might I do something. We're not sure though. At home. We'll have to see. We're supposed to go to the temple, but I've been in enough temples the past week. Uh, it's nice outside. Still tired. 7.15? Yeah. Supposed to meet my uncle at 7.30 at the uh, other house down there. Not too far. Yeah, so. He said, you're going to get robbed. Or pickpocketed. Yeah. So, I don't want to, you know, take a chance. So, yeah, um, that's pretty much about it for the morning. Probably the whole afternoon vlog also. Um, see you guys later. There's no Wi-Fi here. Well, there is, but it's super... Actually, there is no Wi-Fi here, so... <laughs> like I suspected. So I'm just gonna chill today. Alright. <sighs> well, I'll see each other later. Bye. Hi there. So, uh, I decided to bring it. Just, why not? 
We're at my uncle's uh, cargo bay where he exports and imports rice and manure. And uh, look what we have here. Mostly covered up, but very nice. So I guess uh, you drive fast when you're young and old, but not little. <laughs> Over here they rebuild the engines after they take them out and fix them and whatnot. This is the car we're taking to Cambodia. The Cambodia car, hopefully I'll get robbed or something. It's scary. So I guess he bought the car half, halfway done, and uh, so his plan, he wants to switch the V8 in this SUV to this V4 Mercedes and to make all the Nissan. 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 Do we have it over there? Yeah. We do? They're about 60, 70. Really? Yeah. I can't imagine how much it costs here. <laughs> and import. Oh, <laughs> one with the beanie. Oh, what about him? That's the one that This is uh, Cambodia, the border right here. On the way here, some little fucking Cambodian piece of shit kid was looking at me and tried to fucking touch me. Fucking knocked the shit out of him. He tries to fucking touch me again. But I didn't bring a knife, so I can't kill anyone today. Sadly. So, barely entered. I already almost got robbed. Well, there's a ghetto ass Cambodia for you. Don't come here at all. It's poor. Gripping my GoPro and whatever on me as hard as I can. Don't want anyone to rob me here. What? <coughs> Casino right on the border. Hi there. Um, we've reached Cambodia, inner city, Angkor. And, um, we're gonna go find somewhere to eat and then uh, go to the temple. But um, the borderline stops taking in and out of vehicles at 4 4 30. But people can still go through. And right now it's uh, 12 30, so we might make it, we might not. So if we don't make it, then we're gonna walk home or call someone to go pick us up. Uh, Cambodia looks nice, but it's it's kind of it's poor actually. <laughs> very very poor. Just like there's no new cars. Everyone drives the same scooter. Like, there's a lot of people that fake. Shit. Whew, that was fun. But yeah. So, um, look at all those scooters, all the same. My uncle was telling us about different types of hotels. Like, some are like $90, some $120. We're at a Cambodian uh, buffet. It's to see. I guess it should be okay, but 
tour guides that uh, he said that um, the stealing and all the poor was only at the border. After that, was, I guess it's okay. <laughs> but I want to see what food is here. Hi there. So the buffet we had was uh, it was all right. It wasn't too bad. <clears throat> um, what you call it? It was pretty cheap. It was like eight dollars per person. In Cambodia, I guess um they don't really use their currency, and they use U.S. dollars and Thai baht more often. I don't know. That's what the tour guide said. That's what we've been doing for the past since we've been here. The young Gucarino. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, uh, I guess inside Cambodia is all right, but the border is just terrible. It's super ghetto and like <laughs> scary. <clears throat> There's all like bugs in the pond or whatever. Fish. There's like little mosquito things on top. <clears throat> but all in all, uh, the border closes at four. I don't know if I said this earlier, but I think I did in the car, yeah. I said it. So, um, yeah, we'll have to see what happens today. I'm gonna go to the temple and then go back home. But, uh, yeah, scary crossing the border. So if you're in Cambodia, then uh, fly in. Don't go near the border. Super poor, super poor. All right, um, that should be it for now. So yeah. Oh, one more thing. Um, so in the little, <clears throat> this little buffet thing, <clears throat> they um, but there is a big stage. Here it is. Right over there, the blue screen. That's where the stage is. And at nighttime, they have they have um. <clears throat> They have like a dancer at night. So those ladies on the wall over there. Uh, see so the uh, tour guide right there. Okay, these ladies, they they like perform or something over there. So yeah, I don't want to stay here at night though. I don't want to stay here all day, or I don't want to sleep here. So I'll be tuning out now. It's my one day pass. Hey there. We've reached the Angle Wat Temple gate thing. Now we're gonna walk throughout the whole temple area. Back then, some Cambodian kid was trying to sell me shit. <clears throat> so, yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess it's kind of a Renaissance festival or something. Like the fuck, man. Oh, yeah, we're yeah. oh well, I'll have to deal with it. Yeah. Nice structure.